Hello, my name is Jason Turner and I am with the actress Jesse Burkett and we're going to talk today a little bit about the Iron City Chronicles. Thanks for being with us, Jesse. Uh, thanks for having me, Jason. So how did you hear about the project? I believe I first started hearing about it on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, I had seen a call for it and I was interested in what you guys were doing with the science fiction aspect. You don't really see a lot of that done here. and. Mm -hmm was just immediately intrigued by the concept and once I read the slides I was like I have to be a part of this in some way. Cool. Um, what character do you play in the show? I play Jess, much like my name. Okay. And what is it about Jess that you found interesting? First off, her relationship with Iron Joe. Okay. They have this really deep personal connecting relationship that I think you can really relate to with any friend that you've known for years. Mm -hmm. They just have that mentality to feed off of each other and and bring out those little aspects in each other that you don't really see interaction with other characters. Okay. Now, um, I do remember at one point when we got to the audition phase, we actually were talk asking you to read for a different part. That's true. And uh, I was looking at you and I was like... A few different parts. A few different parts. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I wonder if she should try out for this, like, this, like, uh, this, like, you know, kind of like... A digital fairy kind of character you know something that's very very ethereal and uh, we were like okay well no she should read for this other part and then when you read for it we saw and we looked and we we're just like she's got to be that character she's got to be that character and we were we were impressed and that's that's been it's been really cool to see you grow you know from that first audition to now where things are now oh yeah uh, when I first read the part of Jess I thought she was fun to begin with mm -hmm. but being able to have a hand in shaping her and just seeing how our own personal relationship and how mm -hmm. uh, the different great input of Chris has come in and mm -hmm. just how she's really grown and been shaped has really just been amazing to watch now have you played have you played a character like this before I have played Tinkerbell once. Really? Yeah, in a fan film. So I try, kind of tried to bring little aspects of that into Jess's character. Mm -hmm. But of course, she's also very much digitized, computerized. So mm -hmm. she has to be, you know, more technologically advanced than, say, a real living, flowing person. Exactly. Now, as far as, um, as, far as uh, projects, how did you get started as an actor? Oh, um, let's see. I always just had a passion for it. Mm -hmm. I saw it and I wanted to be an actor at a really early age. I was actually really shy, so my mom started putting me singing karaoke mm -hmm. um, different places, and that got me out of my shell. And then eventually I came to see that, hey, there are people that get to pretend for a living and get to be other people and experience different aspects of life. So she got me involved in classes, and then I started doing films shortly after and have just fallen in love with it and done it ever since. Cool. Now, how, how is Iron City Chronicles different from things you have done in the past? Oh, I'd say it's, it's not going to be something that you've seen before. Okay. In the sense that, you know, with a lot of independent films, you have your post-apocalyptic genres. You have a lot of horror films that are done around here. This is just out there. Mm -hmm. It's different. It's, um, it accesses a lot of futuristic characteristics that you don't really see around here done much. Cool. And what about the detective story intrigues you? Well, everybody always loves a good film noir. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, I love that it sticks to the traditional archetype of how a noir lines up. Mm -hmm. um, every noir follows a strict pattern and how different characters are perceived and how different opportunities come about. And I think we've done a great job, you guys have done a great job, of taking that and applying it, but also breaking the mold and expanding on how it could be. Cool.